Hello, good morning. Corbs here with another Red Dead RP stream. As Albert Groves on the Wild RP server. Hello. Eden, hi. No way, is that the famous Corbs? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? How you going, Eden? What are you on about, eh? How you going? Hi. So it's been a few weeks since I've played because you know, I was in Melbourne, I was in Sydney, and I was getting ready to go there, and then I was recovering from going there, and a bunch of stuff. Um, what? So what? Yeah, we, that's right. We did the training. So I did. I did like my like my training, um, which I did off stream, and then I did my first like shift as a actual like um, like as an actual tr uh, general transit officer, um, and then yeah, I had to go away for a while, but now I'm back. So I'm still in the, I think this is like the, yeah, the transit security uniform. So I need to go get changed. Oh God, I'm going to, I've got to remember a bunch of stuff. My brain hurts. Um, but you're very well, just a little silly. Well, there's nothing wrong with being, there's nothing wrong. It's four of them. There's, big <laughs> They're tearing this there's nothing wrong with being a little silly. Eden, I hope. But I'm glad you're well. I'm good. I'm just waking up. Um, I'm just still a little tired because it's yeah, 9 a.m. Um, but I'm all awake. Uh, I've got a load of washing on. Um, I think I'm all set for this. I don't think I've forgotten anything. I just need to remember a bunch of stuff. Um, and I'm hoping that there'll be some other... Transit authority members around because um, I still need to do my tests, like my train test, my boat test and stuff where then I, I'm allowed to go and like do that solo, like start my own routes. Uh, I don't, I haven't done the test to be able to do that by myself yet. I can only um, work with others at the moment. So uh, I think first point of business will be, let's go check telegrams. Um, so I've got some, I've got some bullets. I need to find a bin. I need to get rid of this garlic. I've got some milk, I've still got that cream. Uh, I got some coffee, got some whiskey, got some apples. Uh, I need to fill that up. Uh, let's, let's get plenty of tobacco. Uh, let's fill the water. Actually, let's eat some apples, and buy some new apples, then fill the water, then go check the telegrams. And uh, we'll see if we can get in contact, see if we can either just, you know, do some transit authority work, or, you know, even better, do the, uh, maybe do the train test. Okay. Um, but no, I'm good, Eden. I'm just, um, it's just been a matter of, over the last week, getting back into my day job, uh, getting back into that routine. Uh, just recovering because yeah, I just I didn't get sick, but I just I was just very uh, tired, like just wrecked um, mentally and physically. So I even I we I even went and got a massage uh, on Friday on my work break just to just like please I need help. My shoulders, my neck, my back, and my legs are killing me. Uh, so that's really helped. Um, and then just be planning for cool stuff to do. Uh, later in the year, like to wrap up. So I'll be heading down to Melbourne uh, for the Good Things Festival in December um, for a friend's birthday, Should, like his, for his birthday, which will be really nice. Uh, apples, apples, apples. And then, and then I'll be heading down and then I come back for work. And then I'll be going down again. Uh, well, actually, I'll be... Um, for Christmas, I'll be going to Canberra to spend it with uh, an old high school friend and his wife and son 
and maybe some other members of his family. And then once that's done, after Boxing Day, um, I will be uh, going back down to Melbourne for the rest of my end of year break for like New Year's and stuff. So I've just been trying to figure out... Um, so I'll probably drive to Canberra, do that stuff, then leave my car at his house, then um, fly to Melbourne, fly back, yeah, blah, 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 blah. So, so that's all very exciting. Um, it's just, yeah, I did, I did need a bit of time to recover because it was a lot of, um, it was 10 days straight of uh, convention stuff and I was working for a lot of it. Like just uh, at PAX, I was helping out as like a stage hand. Um at one of the theaters and then at South by Southwest Sydney, I was uh, eight, like, I was the stage manager of a theater. Um, and then every night there was stuff going on. I was staying in an Airbnb with like 10 people. It was great. It was really cool. Your dogs, your dogs woke you up. The only reason you currently wait, what did, what did you, why did your dogs wake you up? Were they, were they just barking at a, something nearby? Like just like a postman or something? Wait, wait it's, it's the weekend. You're a, you're in Australia, aren't you, Eden? My brain is very fuzzy. It will be cute. It will be very cute. Um, it will be nice to while my, because he's arguably one of, he's arguably the oldest friend I've kept in contact with. Um, so to be able to spend a Christmas with. Um, with him and his family when his son is like, I think he's, he's a couple of years old, will be really special. So I get to, I get to be Uncle Corbs at Christmas, which, um, is wild. Like I get along really well with the kids of my other friends, but like this, this is the, like, this is the, the son of like one of my oldest friends. So it's like, it's even more special or. It's just it was it was it was a it was a lot of socializing far more than I I do on average throughout the year living rurally remotely in the bush so it was um it was challenging in a good way you are sorry sorry if I'm forgetting dumb things Eden I do apologize um it's even even at PAX in in South by Southwest Sydney like there would be people that would recognize me. Like they know what I look like, but I don't know what they look like, and I'm I'm much better with faces, um, and then I forget names, and and sometimes it's like the I'll I'll bump into so I would bump into so many people a day, that then I would like be questioning, you know I'd be like that thing that one person told me did they say it or was that someone else, and then I get people's details mixed up, and I feel really bad because it's like it's not like I'm not listening and I don't give a shit. It's just it's it's a it's a lot for me to take in. It's scary. What's this? Indigenous exchange. Or P. Kiara, you are receiving this telegram because you are a business owner or someone who's shown interest in attending the Indigenous exchange. Today at 9 p.m. Or when was this? Oh, that was ages ago. What was it? Today at 9 p.m. We will be able to if you Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, I remember meeting them at the Emerald Ranch. Yeah. Oh, I hope that went well. Um. Do 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 do. Thanks, Eden. Um, it's just hard for me to keep up with some things. But um, let's see. Is there anyone around? I don't see any jobs lined up. Um.
<clears throat> Excuse me. Do 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 do. Good day. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> not at all Eden no if you're there's nothing wrong with, with feeling a bit silly if it's in a good way it's fun it's nice don't do not apologize at all I like silly if it's good it's like it's just it's just it's fun What's my, <laughs> what's my telegram ID again? Where's my notes? Uh, my brain. Where is like VM 808 or something? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where did I write it down? <laughs> where did I write it down? I can't find my note. No. There. Yeah, VMA. I did remember. I did remember. All right. We've sent that. In case anyone's around. Let's go. <laughs> so telegram away. See if there's anyone, like if there's any senior members around today over the next few hours while I'm playing, hopefully they'll see that. And um, I can uh, join some of the other officers for some work at least, or maybe um, organize um Organize doing those tests. Because, yeah, i got to do a test so that I can take trains out, boats out, and carriages and, like, wagons and stuff. Um, like, I can help with that under supervision, but I can't do it solo. So, that would be nice. That'd be cool. Because then it would be really rad to, um to do some routes like that, like on uh, weeknights, like Australian weeknights, or the um, the Oceana, Oceanic player base. Uh, that would be rad. Um, do, 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 do. Let me just check some, I've got my, uh, I've got the Saints Crossing Transit Authority guidebook, like handbook open next to me. Um, 
Let's just check. Just trying to remember. Let's just see if there's no one on duty. No active vehicles. So yeah, when I when I've got when I've got the authority, um, yeah, I can come in here and I can go to like the depots and that, and I can I can change the switches and um, I can check out vehicles and stuff. But yeah, can't do that yet. That'd be very. I'd get in. I'd get in. A, if I just if I just suddenly did that, I'd get in. I'd get in a get in trouble. But I'd love to, yeah, I'd love to just, um, you know, get out a, you can get out like a freight train, um, take that around. Yeah, I think that's primarily you take that around the Western line. Uh, you can take out like passenger trains, which is primarily on the Eastern lines. Um, you can, uh, and then I think if you get like, you organize in advance with the law department and stuff, you can take out a high value train which looks all fancy um, because there's actually stuff on there that people can rob. I think it's like a safe they can crack. Um, and it's like, it's really like, like you're egging on the criminals, like, please. It looks like Marcus Wolf from Diablo OP. But I guess if there's no, I guess we'll see if there's anyone in town just to see what's been, what's going on, what's been going on. Maybe there's, maybe there's an event happening or something. I don't know. But I guess if there's no other transit authority officers around, might just do some, um, <laughs> go back to Emerald Ranch, do some farm work again. <laughs> It'll feel like, it'll feel a bit like going back to square one, but it'll be like, nah, it's just because there's no one around. How much money am I carrying? Oh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Oh, oh no, Eden says, oh no, not trouble. I don't, I don't want to get in trouble with the transit authority, Eden. That would be, that would be a grave mistake. Good evening. I'm not sure if people can hear me. My microphone was lighting up. I hope I haven't mucked up my sound settings. It looks like it's just a bunch of NPCs. Might head down. Because I also need to... I also need to suss out... Because some people advised me that, yeah, the obvious... Like, it's like, it's pretty obvious, but I was like, oh, yeah. Um, to get a lot of storage... Uh, you gotta have a house. Which I think you've gotta, like, rent it per week. Or m per month or something. So, uh, being a, being a fellow from London, um, I think Albert Groves' first choice would be St. Denis. Oh. Well, there's a few people there. So, we'll head on down. Uh, where do you go? to rent out a house. Rooms for rent. So we'll head down there, but we'll, we might not go full full pelt because there seems to be a lot of people down there at the moment. So we'll go down at a nice, easy pace. I'm trying to think what else was on my to-do list. I didn't write anything down, but I think I think it was just generally got to do these tests. 
and then maybe start looking because yeah i've been mainly playing this on weekends from like 9 a.m because that's when a lot of international players are on but then once i've got the authority to take trains and stuff out then i could i could start uh maybe yeah doing like a night and a, a week night like at least once a week to do some train stuff just so there's that presence when australians are on because yeah the the server numbers are quite low during our night our nights so that, that i don't know that might help um just get some stuff happening at those times because then that would give something for people to do something for criminals to do you never know You got popcorn, do you, Eden? <laughs> but how you going? Did I ask how you going? Did I ask how you going, Eden? Were you at PAX? Were you at PAX? Were you at PAX Australia? I did? Oh, good. In a way, I was like, I was thinking like, oh, it'd be great if you said you were, but it also would be bad because it'd be like, oh no, it's another person I didn't, wasn't able to say hello to. So yeah, I was so busy. I tried to take time between panels and during panels and stuff to say hi to people, but it just, time got away. And then I assumed I would bump into a lot of friends, like at the, like at night at, at events. And I forgot to, I forgot to follow some up and just double check that they were going to be there. And I didn't get to hang out with some friends as much as I'd like, which is really sad because there's some people I'd really love to catch up with in person and I don't get to see them very often and it makes me sad. Oh, you wanted to go? Would you go next year? Do you live in, don't, don't, don't feel like you got to, like, you know, be like, yes, I live here and that. Like, don't, don't answer everything if you don't want to. But like, like are you in Victoria? Like, cause me, I'm currently out in, I'm currently out in remote New South Wales. So to get there, like for me, it's a, for me, it's a mission to get there. I got to, like, there's flights that go directly to Melbourne, but they only run at certain times, which aren't convenient with my work. So then when I do go, I've got to fly from here to Sydney, then Sydney to Melbourne. I got to do two flights. It's like takes up my day. It's brutal. Basalt Chopper, how you doing? <laughs> That's how I feel when I got to organize flights to Melbourne. You do not live in Vic? Ah, so yeah. Like me, it's, uh, you know, you got to think about, you got to think about flight costs and you got to think about accommodation and... Ah! <laughs> Oh no! No! My wallet! Will someone think of the wallets? Well, here's hoping you can make it next year. It's it's just it's frustrating. My <laughs> I read that in something else for a second. <laughs> My pennies! <laughs> Get your hands off my pennies! <laughs> no! <laughs> I was like, thank God there's an E in there. Silly! <laughs> well, here's hoping you can make it next year. Because I met you through Damo, didn't I? You came over with Damo one time when I was doing the Dead Rising stuff. Indeed. Oh, good. I remembered something right. Because yeah, I'll be there next year unless, unless, unless there's like a horrible reason I can't make it. I'll definitely be there next year. That's right. Yeah, I was doing the 
zombie genocider stuff. That was fun. I love just driving around back and forth for two hours. Running over 53,000 zombies. That's, that's how I love to spend my time. I've definitely got more important things to be doing. Yep, yep. Like I love I love meeting I love meeting new people. And I got to meet some new people. A moment like um I'd met uh Ariel's TV through like other like other friends like late night Liam and that. And um she was very busy, but she she made some time to come over to the outside of the theater. I was able to meet her. Uh who else did I meet for the first time? Uh Brain failing. But, there was, but then there was a whole bunch of people I met for the first time in Sydney at South By. Like, a bunch of creators went. Like, I ran into Plodsky. And there were some others. It was great. Two cons, back to back. Wild. I want to go next year. I was talking to Damo, and I said I had something for him. Then realized how strange that sounded. No! No, 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 don't! Oh, strange. Then there was that joke. Knock you. Oh. <laughs> Woo -loo -loo. Well, that's. I imagine you. Like I. I. I made a. I made a new friend. Uh, at South by Southwest Sydney, it was actually a, another streamer that works for the same company as me. Uh, they were in another department in the same building, and um, we got along really well. Uh, my friend Zobi One Kenobi, and uh, one day she randomly messaged me. She's like, "I've got a present for you," and I was like, "What? Huh? Like, what? What could you possibly have for me? Like, what? Have you bought me a Mars bar or something? Like, that's very thoughtful, but like, I don't know if that's like present level." Um, and then she came around to the where we were staying. She's like, here. And she hands me this little thing she made. Like, she actually made it. Because, um... Because, yeah, of course, because my name's Corbin. You know, people always refer to the Fifth Element movie. Where Bruce Willis plays as Corbin Dallas. Um... And she loves that movie as well. So she'd actually made me. And, like, one of the iconic lines from that movie is... You know, Lilu Dallas multipass. Or, you know... It's all about the multipass. Um, she actually made me... In her spare time, she actually made me a multi-pass. Like, this little ID card, like, based on what they look like in the movie. She just she just whipped it up in, I don't know, Photoshop or something there. And printed it out in colour. And I was like... Legit. One of the most thoughtful gifts... I've ever received in my life. I... And this is just someone I had made friends with, like, that week. And I was like... Oh, oh. She's great. I had such a blast hanging out with her. It was awesome. She's so funny. And we love, like, she loves Star Wars and yeah, Fifth Element and a bunch of shit. Same stuff as me. So it's just, it's like one of those friendships where it's just like, it's effortless. So cool. Rad as hell. Ah, uh, that would be awkward, Eden. That would be awkward. No, it's. That would be awkward, because, yeah, it's like, you you just, you know, playing a lot of, like, violent video games and multiplayer games, you just, you're just under the impression that, you know, everyone's, you know, you, f you forget. Sometimes, like, because sometimes it's like, like, I don't, I don't mean it to sound insensitive, but sometimes it is, like, until you meet them, it's like people are just a name in the chat. And I, I really don't mean that in, like, a cold way. But you get what I mean? Like, but then when you meet them, it's like, okay. Like, now they're, they're more real. Oh, she is lovely, Ian. She is so lovely. Wait, $10? Why did I just get $10? Wait, did, I didn't clock in. I didn't clock in, did I? No, good. $10? Why did I get $10?
Well, that's, hey, that's the main thing. As long as, you know, if it was awkward, look, that's fair. But then if everyone's then, like, can just, you know, clear it up and then you move on. Oh. Oh. How much is it to rent a room? 35 poo. Oh, okay, so let's, let's see what we got. Chat's like having a pen pal. It is, yeah. It can be like that, but then, oh my god, it is so cool then when you can meet, like meeting people you play online games with and through Twitch and stuff is so cool. It's so cool. Like all the, like, all the people I really get along with in that space. Like I'm always like, I'm so keen to meet them. And then it's like, there's ever an opportunity to like hang out in real life. Like it's so rad. Like, and then at South by Southwest Sydney, I was actually able to hang out with my friend, um, like through like online work, I was actually able to hang out with my friend Anna for the first time properly and go do stuff, which was really nice. I got to hang out with my friend Thylacine. She's another really great streamer here in ANZ. I was able to hang out with her, like go grab lunch. And I was able to, um, she was filming some content or like checking out all the indie games. So I helped film some of her footage and it just felt really good just to be, it's like, oh my God, I can actually hang out with these people in real life. So much fun. Oh my God. So you what, you can get one room. Which one, thylacine? Oh, I've got a knife out. I don't want a knife out. Uh, so you can get a fully furnished one p uh, one storage container, thirty five per week. Oh, and then you get one that's not furnished. Seventy pieces of furniture, two storage containers, one hundred fifty per week. Oh my! Two rooms, three rooms. I think I just want something simple for now. Hey. Oh, yeah, she's, um, uh, she spells it as, if you want to go say hello, Thyla scene. She spells it like that. She's great. She's so funny. And she plays a bunch of, um, bunch of different games. Um, well, I should probably... So it's 35 per week. Like, I bought, what, 100 bucks on me now. I should probably go check my bank because I probably want to have some money lined up in advance. Like, maybe have, like, a month's worth of money in advance just ready to go before I do that. So if you ever go to PAX Eden, make sure to let me know. And I'll, I'll say hi. You won't miss me because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like six foot, big guy. Um, and then I thought I thought I was incognito this year because yeah, usually I've got my big hair, and usually I got a longer beard than I currently do. Um, but I yeah, I, I recently got the beard trimmed a lot, and then my hair cut cut off. But people were still recognizing me, even in Sydney at like events at night. Like people that I didn't recognize, they're like, "Are you? Wait, is that? Are you Corbs?" I'd be like, "How the fuck do you recognize me? How'd you find me?" <laughs> they can just they can just recognize my face. There's no escape. 319 dollars so was that 35 per week i have a big i have a big rubbery emotive face apparently like i've got a very rubbery face like when it's neutral i look like i'm very like i've been told i have more than just resting bitch face that i have resting serial killer face i'm like oh thank you that's very nice uh 35 times four that's 140 oh i've got plenty for in advance Gotta keep the money coming in. 
Um, but yeah, then then when I'm when I'm having a good time in that, like yeah, I've got a big, big dumb grin in that. So I guess yeah, easy to recognize. You should walk up to the killers. Do do you play Dead by Daylight? Do you do you play as a survivor and then you go boop the nose? You go boop the the killers. If you make friends with the killers, they won't kill you, right? Right? Oh, you do play DBD. <laughs> Little sweets. Well, did you know that there's a, um, did you know uh, in the ANZ content creator space, there's actually going to be a, um, a little DVD comp on Thursday night. And I've signed up to play as either a survivor or a killer. So if I'm selected, I'll be streaming that Thursday night. Um, and there's actually prize money and stuff. Very exciting. Um, I've got uh, some friends. Uh, some friends are uh, keen as well. So I might be put on their team, on their survivor team, but we'll see. Yeah, it is Halloween. Let's go to the basic room. Four X. So I'm really keen for that. So I'm thinking later today or tonight, I might do some more, um, okay. Um, uh, might do some more, uh, DBD practice. So, um, so if you ever want, if you ever want people to play with, uh, do feel free to, uh, what is on Twitch? What is it on Twitch or whatever? Just send me a whisper. Um, if you, cause I play on, I play on PC. So if you play on Steam, and you want people, if you ever want people to play with, just feel free to say, because I love, it's nice. I like partying up as a group of four. There we go. Now we got some storage. More than the bank. That'll be good. I'm going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Maybe save that for another time. Get rid of those. Medical bag. I don't think I'm going to need that urgently. Newspaper. I think I need to get rid of that. Oh, I was meant to get more water. Yeah, I'll store all that stuff for now. Um, how glamorous. Uh, and we can even use it as a wardrobe. Nap time. No. What am I doing? All right, give me a sec. Um, my, I can hear the washing machine beeping at me. Um, I need to go hang out my washing and then I will be, I will be right back. <laughs> just a, just a brief nap in a suit. <laughs> oh, yes, washing machine, I'm coming. Leave me alone.
Alrighty. The washing has been hung out. All right. It's um, concerning, like, the grass, while I've been away, you know, i got to mow it soon, or get it mowed soon, I should say. Um, um, Where you at? So it's like, it's not like the grass has gotten super long, but like, there's like these like, I don't I guess, are they weeds or something? Like these plant, like these just plants that just shooting up I'm like what the hell where did they come from they're just popping up like they're li literally growing like weeds it's concerning it's out of control let's check the telegrams again just in case maybe Oh, I know what I can check as well. Oh. Ah. Nope. There we are. Do -do -do -do. So I can unlock this. This is part of my workplace. Okay, so yeah, that I won't open my telegram. What's this? So this is today. You did a full day of mowing a couple of days ago. Oh God. Is it a big yard? Uh, what is the time in Eastern America right now? 6.47. So it started at five. Oh, I don't know if that would this still be going. So what, there's a Halloween party and tall trees. Oh, that started like an hour and 45 minutes ago. Oh, you live in the bush as well? Big yard, oh God. See, I, got, I only got a little yard. But, um... But these, um... These weeds and that. I may as well be out in the... Have a big yard. Um... Oh, it used to be for farming. So it's the real... It's the real deal. All the animals? <laughs> well and I should have done my train test before I left to go on my little break I should have just done that uh, let's get changed let's get changed now let's go do some odd jobs At the very least, we can make some money. Might run into some funny people. 
I haven't talked to anyone in game yet. Like, I don't know, is my mic even- I don't know if my mic and my- Is my shit even working? Oh. Yeah? Yeah? That looks right to me. All oh, the animals! That's what I like to hear. How much money do I have on me now? Yeah. Let's see, let's see if this person can hear me. Oh. <coughs> uh, good day! Good day, miss. Are How you are you going? I am quite well. How about yourself? Not too bad. Just had a bit of a, <coughs> of a bit of a tickle in oh. my throat. Oh, I can I, I can see that you're coughing quite a wee bit through your eyes. Pardon? I said you're coughing quite a wee bit through your eyes. <laughs> yes, I've just been um, smoking some of my <coughs> fine tobacco. Uh, oh, I is this the part where you offer to? Are you a tobacco salesman? Oh no, no, not at all. But no, would you, oh, would you uh, like some? Settling wares? Yeah, okay. Well, you know, I used to have a tobacco salesman way back in the day, and then I just found that at one point there were so fucking many of them that whenever you went into any fucking town, all of a sudden you'd just be like, "Hey, buy my tobacco, buy my tobacco." You don't know stuff like that, and then all of a sudden it's like something has happened, and all of them are fucking dead. Because I haven't seen a single tobacco salesman peddling their wares in so long that it's seemingly an untapped fucking market now. <laughs> My goodness, that is. It's quite the quandary. So, so you're saying that all these uh, tobacco salesmen—they're all dead? There's no other way to explain what has happened unless they're all dead. I mean, there used to be so many of them. There was like a there's like a whole thing, and then you know they were arguing with each other in Saint Denis, and then all of a sudden, no one's selling tobacco anymore. <laughs> so that's the only way they all killed each other, rooted them off, and that they were so enhanced and destroying each other for profit that they just must have dwindled their supplies and then started going at each other through what's like a giant fucking bat king. <laughs> did, did, did you, were you a witness to any like sort of, I guess, tobacco business turf disagreements or anything like that? No, no, not, not necessarily a witness, but you know, I mean, you, you, you hear things on the grapevine, you certainly do. My goodness. So, and, and what you're implying now is that the market may potentially be wide open. I do believe it is quite wide open. So, you know, looking at your apparel, I'm not one to necessarily judge, but, you know, that the devil wears a suit and tie, you know, <laughs> money, whatnot. You, you, you fit the bill for someone who would receive. Oh my god, my horse. Are you, are you saying I look, look like the devil? <laughs> No, I'm saying you look like a tobacco salesman, which you can take one or leave the other. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, but I've never met a, a tobacco salesman that didn't have a grin like a wolf. <laughs> well, uh, I'll take, I'll try, I'll take it as a compliment that I'm well dressed. You're no, being no, from. It, 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 it is one, I suppose. It, I mean, it can certainly be taken as one. I mean, I'm implying that you're smartly dressed, and that there's probably a concoction of ideas getting swirled around in your head a wee bit, but you know, you can take that as you will. Oh, I certainly will. I, I'm being from London myself, you know, you had to be sharply dressed and trying to maintain that, that here. I recently, um, I recently got, uh, c completed my training to be part of the Transit Authority. Oh, so you're gonna drive them trains then? Hi, hi, good, good line of work there. Yes, I've, I've done a little bit of work and then I'm just hoping that some of my colleagues are available today to uh, hopefully we'll take a train out and get people around the country where they need to be going or or something like that i've got some further uh, some finer final training to do so i could take one out myself so hopefully hopefully do that but i've never considered being a tobacco salesman in my spare time but now that you mention that the the market may be wide open it's a, it's, a, it's an interesting thought oh yeah i mean you could certainly do it and employ people i mean if you get it going well enough, you wouldn't even have to lift a single pinky finger yourself. You could just, uh, you know, pay other people to do your bidding and, and gather the tobacco, sell it, and then just give them a cut. And then you still get money flowing in, but that's, you know, the bigger plans down the road, I suppose. Perhaps I could. I could 
work on the trains for a considerable amount of time, have some money saved up, and then start a, a side business in the in the t tobacco. That's not about <laughs> it. Miss, you're all full of ideas. And do I, do I, is that an Irish accent I detect there? I, I am, an, I am indeed Irish. I'm glad you didn't call me a, Sc a Scotsman. We might have a problem there, but you know, at least you have a couple of sense, er, a sense of nas nationality swirling about in your, you know, I'm normally quicker with the responses and quips, but I seem to be a wee bit rusty. That's all right, miss. That's all right. Well, you know, from from jolly old England myself, you know, I have, I've, you know, I've travelled around the the surrounding areas. I've popped on over to Ireland and then up to, you know, over to Wales and Scotland and that mm. to mm. to meet all our neighbours and have a jolly good time. So it's it's a pleasure to meet. Yeah, you certainly meet us, you did. And uh, well, well, I'm sorry, but I have not introduced myself. Albert Groves, miss. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Rory Olancy. And uh, if, if you, if um, how would one uh, spell that? Uh, Rory, R O R Y, and then Olancy. Is that R O R Y? Mhm. R O R Y. Yes. Rory. Mhm. Mm Indeed. And what was your what was what was your surname? Olancy. Is that O, o apostrophe L A N? See why? Aye, that's the one. I got it. Look at you. Put, put in your English brain to... Rory Olanti, it was a pleasure to meet you. You know, aye, aye, it was a pleasure to meet you as well. Well, I was Would thinking you? of... um. Oh, sorry? Oh, no, no, continue going. You probably had a smarter idea than I did. I was just going to be rambling on about some fucking nonsense, probably. Go on. Oh, no, feel free to ramble away. No, but, uh, I... Uh, I was just going to make another remark about the fact that I seem to be rusty when it comes to creating quips because I was trying to think of something that I could throw at you and just nothing. I've already been away from my fellow Irishman for too long and starting to rub off on me the hospitality of the South here. Do you find yourself feeling a little homesick sometimes? I most certainly. You know, I was trying to find places that remind me of the you know, emerald hills of Ireland but I never quite find it so it is a wee bit disheartening at times. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. How long have you been over here in America? I've been in the crossing for about a year now. And it's still that, that, that longing for home just doesn't go away, does it? Uh, you have different semblances of home, I suppose. I mean, there, I have, you know, friends and work and everything here. But uh, they're still, you know, I, I, I grew up as a as a traveller, right? So there's just always that inherent part of me that yearns for more and travelling and whatnot. It's just a lifestyle I've left behind and yet can't really seem to shake it from me. What do you do now? I am actually a deputy. Oh! Oh, jolly good! Mm -hmm. I've met a I... few wonderful deputies so far. Mm -hmm. I know you did. <laughs> You know, I feel like I never really meet all too many Irish deputies. We all seem to be on the other side of the coin, which is just big oh. volumes. Oh, I'm yes, in the way know. of this fellow's wagon. My apologies, good sir. Sorry. Oh, dear. Uh. Oh, dear lord. Well, it's very sad to say that uh, I've yet to receive any word from my colleagues today, so I was actually going to go... I was probably going to go uh, get changed to something more comfortable. Maybe go pick some oranges just outside of town. And then maybe head really? up to Emerald Ranch to just help out with the, with the with the animals. Mhm. Mm I do suggest going to Pronghorn before you go to Emerald. I find that the Pronghorn jobs are a wee bit better. Okay. All right. I might do that. I might you know, pick some oranges, then head on over to Old Pronghorn then. Aye, aye. The Big Valley is quite beautiful as well. So. It is. It is. And then uh, would it be too much to ask for your telegram ID, Miss Alancy? Uh, no, no, not at all. My telegram is IO523 as an Irish officer, 523. That just, that just writes itself. I know, it's just perfect, isn't it? That's fantastic. Well, I look. I the giggle I let out when I saw that. I was like, oh, I don't even have to think about an acronym for this. It's just, it was like it was meant to be. Exactly. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I bet those oranges won't pick themselves, but it's been a pleasure talking to you, Aurora. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a pleasure talking to you as well. You take care and all. You too, miss. Have a lovely day. Right. Good luck with that tobacco business. I'll definitely be thinking about it. 
She's great. Just completely like just straight like straight into like complete just on about tobacco salesmen and can't escape them. That's so funny. She's great. She's uh, just, I was um I love I love Irish accents. I don't know, I couldn't tell. Like is that was that like uh is she putting on an Irish accent or is she actually Irish? I, I couldn't um I couldn't pick it. That's great. I was kind of hoping she'd be like, yeah, I'll, oh, you're going to go pick oranges and do farm work. I'll come with you, but that's all right. People got their own things they're doing. But I'll probably come across her because um, uh, over the next few weeks, I will probably make... Um, a law character. Oh. Good day. Waiting for the change room as well, are we? I am, yes. Oh dear. Do you know, do you know how long they've been in there? Ever since I've gotten here. And that's been... I want to say about ten minutes. Oh, are they all right? I hope so. I don't know who the hell's in there. Oh, my. Hello? Are you all right in there? You haven't fallen fine. over? Pardon? Just fine. Oh, you're all right? Okay, no worries. Just wanted to make sure you weren't uh, in need of medical assistance. Why, you been out there long? And they're breathing? They're still kicking? Oh, uh, it's just that a, a, a young lady out here has been waiting for a little while, but it's all right, I think. It's all right. Right, I'll be done here in just a minute. No problem. I think I recognize that voice. <laughs> he seems to be all right. That's good. What's your name? Albert Groves, miss. And uh, yours? Oh. Olive Jackson. It's good to meet oh, you. I see Tinta. Nice oh, to meet you, Miss Jackson. I think I recognize that guy's voice. I think that's the guy. Oh, there's a few guys I've met like that. Uh-oh. Ahem. <clears throat> buy me something that was taken from us or something found those two uh, while I was doing ranch work I don't know if you got my telegram I did I have a lot of money on me right now don't say it out loud I'm whispering I'm very sorry if someone tried to say hello to me before I had a bug in my ear <laughs> you're all right <laughs> oh, that's that's quite all right man it was mr. Groves right Yes, yeah, that's right, Miss Jackson. Yes, hello. <laughs> Do you typically stay around the city? Oh yes, I love Saint Denis. It reminds me of back home in London. Oh, you're from London. I've never been. It's it's a jolly old place. Depends where you go, but yeah, I'm over here. I recently uh, finished my training with the Transit Authority. Oh, ah. I see. I've got one final test to go, and then hopefully you'll see. There might be some uh, trains 
rolling around helmed by one Mr. Graves here in the near future. Very excited. Oh, that'll be very exciting. Today. I haven't seen the train in quite a long time, so. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, I, I had to, uh, I had to uh, go on a, uh, a little break for a little while, for a couple of weeks, just to go around the countryside, just trying an assortment of cheeses. And uh, I've come back, and it seems to be awfully quiet. An assortment of... Mm, never mind. How well, deep in an assortment of cheeses are we talking? Oh, well, it, when, I, when I say trying out an assortment of cheeses, it's more, you know, like you go to uh, wineries... Mm -hmm. mm. It's more of a wine tour, but I'm I'm definitely more interested in the cheeses that they uh, have to accompany certain wines. Okay. So I go for the cheese. But it was good down back, and I'm just yeah, it would be nice to nice to hear the old choo choo come through. But uh, you know, just give it maybe they're busy. But uh, what what do you do, Miss Jackson? Well, as my friend here said. We uh, occasionally do some ranch work. Oh, good. Here and there. Yep. Good old ranchers. That's what that's what I started doing before I got accepted into the transit authority. You know, got to watch out for that goat up at Emerald, though. He, when you're trying to feed the chickens. The goats sure are assholes, aren't they? Yes, they are. That's why I have this. Oh my for the goats. Oh, we've yep. really got ourselves a sports buckler here. Uh, yep, no, no, definitely wait, not. You're a, no, wait, you're a wait, you're a you're a Oh, well, look, you didn't, a why didn't you now, tell I mean. me? You've got the eye patch, you've got the headband. You got the scars to prove that you've lived the life. Did you walk the walk? You certainly could be a pirate. Well, I mean, no, I mean, I'm a ranch hand, man. That's that's what I am. It's well, it's fine. Am. You know, it's one thing to have one's day job, and then what, what one does in their spare time is is completely up to them, as long as they're not hurting anyone. You know, you as long as you're one of those good pirates. <laughs> yeah. Um, like the, mean, kind, like the kinds of pirates me, if, that visit children's hospitals and if such. If you're twisting my arm here. I guess I would say that I've been lying to you. My name is Captain Nathan Perry. What? Uh, I I am a pirate. <laughs> you are actually a pirate. Oh, uh, it actually also reminds me I'm actually a member of this captain's crew. What? Yeah, I'm a pirate. Oh my. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am actually yeah. the captain, uh, Captain Nathan Perry of the Jolly Rogers. Nice to meet you. My well, I get pleasure. I've never met actual pirates before. Yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is your boat here at the dock? No, man, we don't have a boat, okay? What? Didn't you just say you're a captain of a boat? I said I am a captain of a crew. A crew? What? What? I do not have a boat because it is not fucking viable to run a sailboat on a fucking ocean that now has metal hunks of tin coming at you, you know what I'm saying? Well, you just gotta go with the wind. You're not wrong about that, man. As much as I wish I could just go in the wind. So, so what do land pirates do? I mean, I guess that depends on who you ask. Oh, well, good day. Howdy. Howdy. Are you, are you the gentleman Is that, that was Vito? in the... It, it is. Oh, oh Vito, you're it's been a while. Nice. Hello, sir. Yeah, you're looking quite spiffy. Oh, yeah, you all got in there. Messing with some things. Old man Kalochi does wonders. That he does, that he does. How have you been, Mr. Vito? Oh, that bad, that bad. How have you been? Oh, not too bad. Just had, had a little bit of a couple of weeks off to go check out some uh, wine and cheese tours, is but now I'm back, next, hopefully, to finalize my uh, transit authority training. Hmm. Right. Look good for you. Oh, shit. Are you all in a rush to get somewhere? I was just talking to these really. pirates here. Uh, pirates, huh? That's right. Yeah. Have you ever met a pirate without a ship? Yep. 
Yeah, he's met me before. I mean, I know Vito already. I met a, I met a few pirates without ships. Could you imagine trying to sail a ship around Van Horn right now? The shit out there? It'd be a nightmare. Not be great. I've had my fill of shootouts on boats as well. It's not very fun. Oh my. Well, I'm also I'm... just now realizing this coat's got a little more brown on it than, than black. But, it, you know, it is what it is. Still looks good. Miss Jackson, were you, were you uh, wanting to go next into the change room? Sure, I'll take my turn. Go see what these two are doing out here. Okay. <laughs> you are right there. Hey, just uh, it's just been a little cold. <clears throat> I thought the tobacco might warm me up a little bit, but just got a little bit of a cough. Yeah, you just gotta smoke more. That that stops that. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm. I'm Dang it, Vito! I'm I'm puffing them down as quick as I'm lighting them, but it's just, it's not doing anything. Deep inhale, you can inhale the whole thing, all of it. All right, well, I've got the tobacco on, to spare. Let me hear it. All right. <laughs> Right, I'll do that like five times. When you're cold, it'll it'll be cured. All right. <laughs> oh, that's, no, you ruined it. You ruined it. You can't you can't cough in between. You can do it all. No coughing. All right. Five times. It's in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one helped. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. There you go. You gotta, you gotta keep it. You gotta get five of them consistent. Well, I'll keep practicing. Cause I... All right. All right. That's good. I may have picked too much tobacco the other week. I'm just... It's, it's all I've got in my bank account. Just piles of tobacco. And I'm just trying to... Trying to get through it. It's very hard, Vito. Oh, I'm sure I could have made you, you know, an, an amateur, you know, the professionals. <laughs> well, I did just hear this. I met a, a lovely young Irish lass in the street before. She says that there used to be, I, one might say, too many tobacco salesmen, but it seems that they have all died. So it seems there's a, the market is wide open. Oh. So I was thinking, maybe. Oh, oh dear. Rubs is really hard. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> oh. Just... All right. Oh, uh, uh. Are you all what right there, Vito? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. What was I saying? Uh, I was just mentioning how 
I recently heard from an Irish lass that there seems to be no more tobacco salesmen, so the market is wide open. I was considering maybe saving up lots of money with the trains and then maybe starting a tobacco business in the future. It's all yours. Yeah, not a bad idea. Oh, jolly good. Time for me to get changed into something a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> All right. Well. Right there. Overalls and all, huh? It seems to be very quiet in the transit authority today, so I think I might go pick some pick some oranges. All yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, well, well, good luck with that. Thank you very much. Great to see you, Vito. Glad to hey, hear you've been well. Good to see you. Uh, always. Until next time. Yep, wonderful Thorner. May the wind what the? be ever in your sails, pirates. <laughs> okay, man. Lovely this to meet you. The... Thank you. It was nice to meet you, too. May the the treasures be bountiful always. <laughs> you be well, Safe. Mr. Groves. Oh dear. That's funny. <laughs> I, I, I spooked them. It's like, hello! May the wind ever be in your sails. Like, what? <laughs> oh. oh, funny, funny, funny. Hello, Hammer! How you going, dude? Hello there, old chap. Do do do. I'm well. Just uh, just been recovering over the last week. Just in getting back into the back into the old uh, the old streaming. Uh, this is my first time back on Wild RP since before South by and PAX. So I'm just getting back in the swing of it. Unfortunately, there's like, there's no, um, there's no, it doesn't seem there's any transit authority people around. Which is really odd. Um, and some of those people I was talking to, they were saying that the trains then have been quiet the last few weeks while I've been away. Which is really sad to hear. I was really hoping to catch up with a bunch of them and do some do some train work today but I think we're just going to be doing some farming that makes me a sad panda definitely man well yeah I'll be doing this for a couple of hours and then um and then I'll just be chilling for the rest of the day really um I might do some um, I might be doing an Overwatch comp soon if I get picked, so I wouldn't mind doing some more practice ready for that. Um, might be in a Dead by Daylight comp on Thursday, so I wouldn't mind doing some more prep for that. Um, um, wouldn't mind... Um, I want to get through the Halloween Deep Rock Galactic stuff. But yeah, dude, yeah, I'll keep an eye out later today after I stream. Like, I'll keep an eye out. I'll jump in your Discord. Yeah, it'd be great to catch up. Feels like ages. Like, last few weeks. Like, it's like, where did October go? My October just, like... is gone. Uh, what's an easy one? Crates. Crates. Oh, they all want crates, man. Uh, um Uh 
I don't have a crate. But if, if for the crate, I need a wagon. Might just go do ranch work then, I think. Pronghorn. Pronghorn. Emerald's there. Where's Pronghorn again? Need a strawberry? Oh, I thought, uh, what's the one around here? She, she, she's recommended pronghorn. Well, let's go check that out. I just, it's, it's a lot of money, Eden, to buy a wagon. And then it's also, like, if you can't afford to buy a wagon, like, you can rent a wagon, but you've really got to sort of put in a lot of work to make it worth the cost that you've rented it for, for a day. And I just don't think I'm going to be, I don't think I'm going to be streaming this for that long. And I also don't feel like doing... I don't feel like filling... <laughs> I don't feel like filling four crates of oranges today. <laughs> that would just be wasting money. I just want to do... I just want to do some... I was hoping there'd just be one, you know, pick 20 oranges and take them here, but it's all... They all require crates. But yeah, literally, you got to go to a, a depot in the towns. you got to get a crate. Like, you got to rent a crate or something. Or you got to buy it. And then, yeah, you can't just carry it around. you got to, like, put it in a wagon... So it's like, you got to have money to invest in that stuff, and then you got to make a profit on top of it. And I'm like, I do not have the patience for that today. Uh, me brain hurt. Not today, please. <laughs> Wagging these dollars in your face. God damn it, Eden. You know I need that money for rent. I'm trying to adult here, Eden. I would love to be doing train work, but there's no one around! All the transit people would... I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what's going on, man! What's next weekend? Oh. Just checking. So next week is the second and the third. Oh yeah, I don't think I've got anything on on the weekend of the second and the third. So yeah, I'll try and do some more. I'll try and do some more of this. I guess I, I really thought, I really thought today would be more people would be around, but I suppose I'll try for, because, yeah, for me, it's Sunday morning, but for them, it's their Saturday night. So, I guess next weekend, I'll try for Saturday morning, which is their Friday night. I'll see if I can catch some train people. <sighs> I didn't do yesterday because I was just too tired. Too tired. <sighs> Imagine being an adult. Oh, sometimes... I don't know if I would call it boring. Because you definitely have stuff to do. But it's not exciting either. It's annoying. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, well. The freedom is nice, if you've got the money. <laughs> I 
I just wish I had more to be doing where I currently live. Like, it's just... There's not a lot for me to be doing at the moment, apart from work. Like, I could go visit places and stuff, but there's not really anyone to go with. And I don't really, I don't really have many, like, local friends. So I'm really hoping, really hoping in the near future I can move to, like, Melbourne or Sydney or back to Brisbane. Just so I've got friends around and I can go do stuff with them. Oh, I don't know, Eden. I, I, I reckon I could give you a run for your money with where I live. I won't... I don't like to say it openly on Twitch. But I reckon I, I, reckon I could give you a... I reckon I could give you some competition. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, watch out. Wait. Are you in Tasmania? Well, tiny. Are you in the ACT? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Yo, battle. Oh, hello. Good day. We're heading to a farm. Possibly starts with T. The... I've always, um, I've heard really good things about Tasmania. I've had some friends go there on holidays. Um, my parents have gone there. Uh, they said it's really nice. And I'd really like to go sometime. Just to go see what it's about. <laughs> I do like me some cold weather. I imagine, yeah, living there, it would feel restrictive after, like, because it's like there's a literal, a, a literal border. It's very hot there right now. Ugh. 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 Well, just think that, you know, when PAX comes around again, it's not that too... I imagine it's not that far of a flight. And I would hope that it wouldn't be... The flights wouldn't be too expensive. So that's a positive to think about. Love this area of the map. That sucks. I 
I'd love to live somewhere where it's generally cold most of the time. The sheep! There's all those animals we're talking about in. <laughs> all the animals! This is a nice place. Well, not that forest over there. But that, look at that. Look at that. Lovely. What a lovely farm. Let's see what jobs there are. All of them? It's like in uh, that movie. Uh, Leon the Professional. Gary Oldman's character. Everyone! Uh, what have we got? Help out with chores. Help out with chores. Help out with chores. Downs Ranch. Where's that? I don't remember where all this stuff is. Let's do the big one. 134 bucks coming up. That's a couple of weeks rent right there, mate. That's a couple of weeks rent. Chickens, cows, and hay. Um, I don't know where you do the stuff here. Well, one way to find out. Oh, there's one, there's a job, there's some jobs there. Uh, yep. Nah, man, I, I've, I've, I think I've, I think I've given up on COD. I think I've given up. I just, I just, modern COD just it doesn't do it for me. Like I was never like super into the older CODs either. But just the new ones, like, the just how big the fire, like, the game size is and a bunch of the bullshit. I'm like, nah, I just can't be. It's not for me. I just really want, I just really want the next Halo, Gears of War, and Battlefields to be a return to form. That's all I want. That's all I want. Oh, yeah, breakfast. Eggs? Eggs on toast? No. <laughs> breakfast! I love breakfast. I love finding good cafes that do awesome big breakfasts. 
Like you got your your sourdough and your, your fried eggs, and you got your cherry tomatoes and your sausages and your hash brown and all that. Oh, gimme, give gimme give that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like ones where it's like you almost want to skip dinner just so you got enough room for the big breakfast in the morning. So good. That's... It was nice. It was actually one of the mornings at PAX. Uh, the fellow I... The fellow I versed in the final round in the Omegathon... Uh, was it two years ago? Um, he set up a brunch. With, um... With myself and a few of the others. Old players. And, um... Yeah, we, we went to a nice cafe on the dock near the center, which was really nice. It was a, it was a solid big breakfast. Where the hell's this hay bale got to go? Aha! Found you. Oh, I think that's the hay bales done. Yep. Now let's feed the chickens. Doesn't seem to be any naughty goats around, which is nice. Right, chickens. Let's do this. Oh, we've thrown some feed. The chickens have spawned. Duh. And then we give them... We give them some room. I think. Eat. Eat. Get it in ya. Oh. Eat it. Right on the marker, eh? Is that right? Is that an adequate spot for the chicken feed? Damn chickens. <laughs> Call me Bori. Howdy. Thank you for the follow. Howdy. I've been sent here by Eden. <laughs> what did Eden say? <laughs> We've been having a good old chat. I've just been trying to find things to do in Wild RP this morning. Having a having a, a chat. Um... Oh no. Eden, no! I trusted you! <laughs> 
Uh, I did it once. Uh, I wanted to go in as my um, bulwark, but there was already a bulwark, so I had to play as my uh, assault class. But lucky I was doing it on the easy difficulty. So I d I've done it once, um, which was pretty sick. Like the final bit, like all the all the monsters, and then there was the big thing roaming around. That was pretty sick. That was pretty cool. I've been mean, wanting to do it again. And then, like, start running through as another character. I've just been busy, like... I've been wanting to try out the Deep Rock Galactic Halloween stuff, and I want to try the the new Helldivers stuff, and... Um, I've been trying to do prep for DBD stuff, Overwatch stuff. It's just too many games! She said, watch this streamer or I'll shoot you. <laughs> I don't know how she has a gun in Australia. Oh, I don't know. Eden might be resourceful. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is um, this is Red Dead Redemption 2, but uh, Red M, where it's yeah, heavily modified uh, for the roleplay servers. And I'm currently playing on the Wild RP server. So um, with this character, I'm in the Transit Authority, so trying to be like a train driver and stuff. I've done a whole bunch of training, but I need to do some final tests to be able to do it solo. But um, there doesn't seem to be anyone around today, so we are um, falling back on doing some farming. I did see they brought back that gun. Um, I really enjoyed using it in the first game for a laugh. So I'm really keen to use it again. Alright, eat. Eat the damn food! What are you two doing? You've had enough chicken feed? Hey? You had enough? You don't want any more? And it's fun using the bayonet on the rifle. Like, it's just so fun using an old-style weapon like that in that kind of setting. It's it's fun. I love it. There's just so many games. And then, because it's, it's... We're getting close to Halloween. I've been wanting to stream all these indie horror games. And I did one the other night. But I just haven't had the energy to do more yet. Oh... <sighs> I've just been so tired. Come on, chickens. Come and get it. Did I hear a rider approaching? Makes me laugh. It reminds me of this TikTok I see every every now and again, where it's like this person's got a plate of like chicken strips ready to eat and their little cockatiels coming up like screeching because it wants to eat some and they're like no you can't eat this because you're like part chicken <laughs> and it's like Wee! it's so funny a little cute little cockatiel it's funny right one more lot of food to go
Come on. Yum, yum, yum. Get that in ya. One more bit of chicken feed? Huh? Just a little bit more? Just want a little bit more chicken feed? Alright. And now... Milk the cows. We got some people. Hello! Not even a hello back. Good day! How you doing, Porter? Not too bad yourself? Yeah, I'm okay. Just, uh, are you here to uh, help with the chores or just passing through? I'm, uh, we're here to meet a friend. Oh, jolly good. Well, I, you're the first two I've seen here all day, so hopefully they're not too far away. Uh, I see. Yeah, uh, Supposed to be meeting them in oh, about uh, ten minutes or so. So hopefully. Oh well, well if you if you uh, if you if you'd like to kill some time, I'm just going to be milking the cows. If you'd like to like to come on over, but no pressure. If you need anything, I'll just be uh, I'll just be out here uh, grabbing them teats, so to speak. Appreciate your partner. What's your name? Oh, sorry. Uh, Albert Groves at your service. Albert Crow. Uh, Groves. Oh, Groves. Sorry. Groves. Okay. I'm, uh... Well, um... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, sorry. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Florence Sage. Nice to meet you, Miss Sage. And, and your name, sir? Patrick Wayne, at your service. Mr. Wayne, nice to meet you both. But yeah, uh, yeah if you, if you uh, like some company while you wait for your friend, yeah, I'll just be milking the cows, just working away, so feel free to... Yeah, I, I, I don't own the ranch, but feel free to make yourself at home. Appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome back, Eden. Grab life by the teeth. Gotta milk those cows. Make that money. I wonder if they're here meeting their friend for legal or illegal reasons. Oh. Easy. Alright. Let's get to work. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, I can't. I came at the wrong angle. I can't see. Oh no. 
Oh no. Oh no, I can't even like bring up another menu. Oh no. Oh no, I can't see what the controls are. Oh no. Good morning, Gazozo. How's Overwatch? Ah, oh, you know, you know how it goes. To roll of the dice. Oh no, I think I'm gonna have to close down the game. I can't even bring up the escape menu. I can't, oh, I approached the cow from the wrong side. Oh no. No. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Well, at least I can bring this up. Oh, shivers. I have to reopen the game real quick. It's awkward. Judging my Mora play through Toby Dill's stream. Well, you're you're welcome to join anytime. Hopefully, it hasn't mucked up the the farm chore. But you already said you were going to join Fovewatch. I thought you were just, I thought you were waiting to see me go online. Oh, you need me to hold your hand, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to kill things. I'm trying to help kill things because the DPS can't finish the job all the time, apparently. And if I see, and if I see there's enough demand, n enough need for a healing orb, there will be a healing orb. But until then, I'm charging my ult. I find I can get out enough healing, keeping the damage going out, and then just using the the spray, like the healing spray. I feel like I can get enough out with that. But when it's like a group of people need healing, that's the that's when the, only then will I use the healing orb because always it, it just it just the ball just fucks off and it was a waste anyway. Or it'd be like suddenly all your teammates will be healed and then it just go like it just goes away and it didn't do anything when it's like. There will always be damage being done to the enemies. I ain't wasting my time. All right. Please tell me. Oh, I'm in the cow. I want to know what their meeting is going to be about. We we'll better eat some apples. Did that even do anything to my bars?
It is. All right, let's try this again. There we go. We're doing it! That $135 will be ours. How many times do I have to do that? Five, oh, five more times. Oh, that's right, and you gotta take... You could grab the... <laughs> oh my god. It's quite the mission. Just casually... With one hand. That's one. Bom 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 bom. Oh, hold on. I gotta rejoin the team speak. Whoopsie daisy. Better do that before someone's trying to get a hold of me. Do 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 do. Milk the cow until the bucket is full. I'd be more concerned about breaking my <laughs> breaking my arm. Like, look, that looks heavy. Like if that's full, with one hand just casually, you'd be like, ah, my arm. But you're damn right. That I will, I will carry all the groceries in in one trip. I don't care, I don't care if it kills me. I'm bringing all the grocery bags in one trip, if I can. <laughs> I'll do it. Do I hear a bear? Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! 
Oh my god, is everybody all right? Yeah, it was just a bear. Everything's fine. Thank you, Mr. Groves. Oh my goodness, I heard that. I was carrying a jug of milk. Nothing I could do. Yeah, the bear, the bear seems to uh, be more and more aggressive closer closer to winter, so... Well, thank God you weren't holding the tape. <laughs> oh my God, you're... That poor cow would have needed medical yep. assistance. Well, I'm glad everyone's all right. I'll go back and finish my chore. Stay safe. Yes, you too, Mr. Will. Like you weren't holding the teat. <laughs> the poor cow. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, Which cow? The one over here. You all right, fella? You all right there? You all right, love? You all right? Out in the field. It just had a bit of a moment. Oh, I completely missed it. Let's check on him. You alright, love? You alright, dearie? Yeah, I think they're all right. Everything's great on the farm. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Every little thing's gonna be all right. Milk the cow until the bucket is full. Gets eaten by a bear? Probably will. I'll finish up the last bucket and then a bear will just be like, Yo, what's up? Blah. Get mauled. Do, do, do. <laughs> what are you saying? Mmm, bear. Like, what, have you eaten bear? <laughs> like, oh, I love to eat bear. You've never had grilled bear?
What? <laughs> One more time. One more time. We're gonna milk a cow. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh my god! You good? As I was saying. One more time. Oh, yeah. So that's what you saw before. All right. They just, um, you know, they have a bit of hay and they just get, they're like, they're like, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Get a little high off the hay. Mmm. There's that bear. Oh my god. What did we say? It's coming! Get back! Shoo! You naughty bear! Stay back! Back, I said! Don't you come in here! Get out of here! No! No! Back! Oh, goodness! Oh, it's gone through the fence! Oh, my God! Oh, goodness gracious! Are you okay? I was trying to scare Shit. it off, and then it decided to take that as an invitation. Yeah, don't don't do that. Don't do that. If you, if, if, you, if you see the bear, bear, don't don't randomly shoot at it because No, I, I was shooting in the air. I'd be like Well, don't shoot towards it. You will piss it off. I was shooting at the sky like like I'm like this is thunder and lightning back. Yeah. That's uh, a big bloody bear. I, I would I would recommend next time if you're doing something like that um get up somewhere high first. Oh, like cl climb the tree first. No, like over here. Come here, right here. <laughs> you can get up here. Oh, he is. And then if you're up here, you know the bear won't get you. What if it? What if it le le oh, leaps at me? If it leaps at you. Yes. Well, you can also go like here. Oh yes, oh, after you. Oh. But yeah, um, don't don't shoot towards the bear or around the bear because you will piss it off more than scare it off. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. Just if 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 the bear is staying on, you know, that side, uh, normally it'll stay there. But if if you hear it screaming and everything, then yeah, just get up somewhere high first. Do that first before you do anything else. Um. Yeah. Oh, I'll but keep normally, that in mind. When, yeah, mostly when they're on the other side of the fence, they will, um, 
They're just having a look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Honestly. yes. I see what you mean. Yeah. Alright, I'll get I'll get rid of the carcass so it doesn't attract, like, wolves and stuff. Oh, yes! Thank you very much! Yeah, no worries. I need you to step back a bit. Easy. Easy as that. <laughs> Did I hear a shot? Where the hell's that? Where the bloody hell's that coming from? Oh dear. Trouble on the perimeter? That's a shootout. That's a shootout. Oh That's god, get down! That's a shootout. Sir, come with us. Coming! Oh, I just don't want to drop my pipe! There's a shootout. You gotta leave. Whoa. Oh, are you alright? Oh my god. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Oh my god! Do we get inside? No, get on the horse, sir. Get on my horse. Get on my horse. I'm get coming! Horse. Oh, sorry! I just heard somebody yell it was a shootout. Yeah, uh, think friendly thoughts. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm right. ready! Oh gosh. Let's go to Strawberry. Alright! Good thing I just finished milking the cows! Oh my! How exciting! We have to watch our right. That's where they were headed. Yep, they were on foot though. They were on foot. Oh gosh! So, um, so, so, friend, where, where are you from exactly, specifically? I think you need to speak louder. Oh, is that me? Yes. Y yes, you. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm from um, from London. Yeah. Why are they yeah. always from London? That's what I thought. Um, Great work. Don't man. say that. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, so why, out of curiosity, why did you leave? Oh well, with the uh, with the tr with the new train tunnels and everything over there, there was a lot, way too much competition trying to get work on the trains there, so I came here to try my luck, and just the other week I um, graduated, and I've become part of the Transit Authority. Mr. in the blue, what's your oh. name? Uh, Albert Groves. Oh, sorry, Alvin? Uh, Albert. Oh, Albert. My apologies. You're all right. So yes, I'm I'm an officer with the Transit Authority, and I just do farm chores in my spare time when when there's no work to be done. And then I'm going to have my final test soon to uh, be able to take the trains out myself. Oh, how exciting! If you see my twin Wonderful. sister Clara, say howdy. Clara, I'll keep that in mind. Everyone in the yes. Transit Authority has been very lovely so far. That's good. Lovely. I hope it works out well for you. So far, so good. Just, I was really hoping I would catch some of them today, but they all seem to be having dinner with their families and such, I suppose. Yeah. Hold on. Let me just tell the rangers. Uh, hello, rangers and law. Uh, don't go. To, uh, uh, there is a shootout at Pronghorn. Yes. 
Is is it law or is it? No, I, no idea. I, all I saw, I, I saw a guy dressed up in like a black wolf costume or something like that, running around in the hills, shooting at somebody that I didn't see. But right. there was there was at least two to three people mm -hmm. shooting at each other or something I'm like that. Go, I'm gonna go. Scan oh yeah, it we, out. yeah, we yeah. Oh. They came. Oh, thank you. They came from Big Valley area please. up on the hill uh, west-ish of Prongon Ranch, uh, and that's when we ran. Patty Sage. Thank you. Thank you very yep. much. No worries. Okay. I will drop you off at the telegram station. Thank you very much. So, sorry for just hauling you away, but I didn't want to leave you behind there. No, no, that's all right. I think that the, the doors were locked to the house anyway. Yeah. And I don't really you feel are. like playing hide and seek with some criminals. No, exactly. Miss, were you are you part of the local law enforcement? No, no, I'm actually a nurse with the state. Oh, oh, I just saw you both had the white hats and such. I thought you might be law oh, enforcement. Oh no! So the white the white hats is pronghorn pronghorn produce. Oh right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, do, do, do you think it would be too much trouble if I asked the the rangers and such over there if uh, how long it I should wait until I return to the ranch? Cause I I just realised I left my horse there. Uh, I would probably wait a little bit. I I'm happy to lend you one of my horses if you need one. Oh, that's all right. Uh, well, I just I yeah. I would probably wait maybe th twenty to thirty minutes, or you can ask Law if the shootout is finished. Yes, I, yeah, I suppose I better. I'll go ask politely, just because I, I can't believe Some I left old Growler are... there. It all happened so fast. <sighs> no, I understand. Some things that do happen is uh, when they're shooting, horses kind of get scared and they'd sometimes find their way back to the stables or their home. So he might have gone back too. Yes, there, there's been times where he has gone a bit of off the beaten track and he, he always comes home. So I'll keep an eye out. I just. I feel so bad for leaving him there. I was just so caught up in my chores and there was a bear and the next thing there was a shootout. Oh, yeah, I know. That does happen sometimes. The adrenaline gets pumping through the body. Oh my god, yes. Like we, That's definitely not a, a daily occurrence back in London. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm really out in the wilds now. Welcome to the crossing, darling. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, if you do need a stable, I do know that there's one up the hill there. He might have found his way there. Otherwise, you might have to go to another town. But we can give you a lift somewhere if you need it. Oh, uh, that's all right. I, I might pop over and say hello to the rangers and such, and then check out on the stable. Maybe, maybe Growler followed us from afar. Absolutely. You never know. Well, keep safe, darling. Thank you, miss. Thank you very much. Absolutely. How exciting. Oops, oh, sorry. Were you part of the local rangers? Huh? Are you some of the local rangers? No, I'm just donating stuff to them. Oh. Oh, is this there? I think I saw one go inside. Hello? Knock, knock. Oh. Howdy. We got, some, we got some food here that we want to donate to you guys. Oh, yeah. Just go ahead and leave there. Some Appreciate ke that. kebabs and tacos. Oh, thank some you. Some sweets. Where are y'all from? I I work at the best deal. I just had some extra food oh. I want to uh, offer. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yep. We'll make sure people get this. We know how much the Rangers likes the kebabs. <laughs> oh yeah, we appreciate it. Need lots of food. Yeah. That I think that crate there has got sweets and oh, snacks and stuff milk. as well. Ooh. Yep. Here, let mm -hmm. me give you a little tip for this. 
The other crate has got coffee and tacos and kebabs. You see that? Yep, I do. There you go, thank you. Thank you. Now press. Enjoy. Yeah, we yeah, always enjoy be safe. We always enjoy the you, rangers it. dropping by the Bastille, so this is our thanks. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Y'all be safe. Have a good yeah. night. You also. Yeah, you too. Good day, sir. Am I uh, right doing? to assume you're one of the rangers here? That is correct. Oh, nice to meet you. My name's Albert Groves. Um, I came in with the group that was uh, fleeing the shootout over at Pronghorn. Are you? Yeah. I was just wondering, um, how long would it be, do you think, uh, or is there a, will there be a, a group going out soon? Just, uh, I left my horse there. Um, a group going towards Pronghorn? Uh, I'm not sure, but, um... Or how long? How long do you think it's until it's safe to head back there? I just I feel awfully, awfully embarrassed to say I left my horse there, but everything happened so fast. I would, as a rule of thumb, I'd give it probably thirty-five to forty minutes. How long ago did he see the shoot start? Oh goodness, that must have been within the last five to ten minutes, I'd say. Yeah, I'd probably give it probably about forty minutes. Just to be sure, and then you know, you, you got binoculars. Uh, yes. Yeah, just uh, when you go up there, just just uh, you know, scope it out a bit, make sure there aren't still a bunch of people around. But the stable, you can maybe send the stable out to get your horse in a little bit. Yeah, the lovely so, lady back there recommended that as well. I just, I just, I just really feel sorry. I, I hope my horse won't hold a grudge against me for leaving him. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I think you'll be fine. You know, give some hay cubes or something. Yeah, that's true. Well, I, I might go check the sales. Thank you anyway. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, no worries. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Poor Growler. Growler! My horse! I was kind of hoping we'd all stay there and like hide and just watch from afar. But you gotta do, you gotta go where the RP takes you. Yeah, yeah, and I respect that. But I, I was kind of hoping we would just hide and could watch it from afar, and then maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe like if there was criminals, they'd take us hostage, and that'd be exciting. But you gotta go with what makes sense. To a degree. It just would it would have been cool, is all. Just, it would have been cool. Growler! Alright, let's slowly go back. Just want to take a look. I'll take a look from afar.
Yeah, it's, yeah, it's all like, ah, oh, lovely little ride through the forest. What a lovely day. I suppose I've got the horse now. Why would I go back? Uh, we might. Ooh, a lot of people in Blackwater. Um, is there any? Maybe check the telegrams. Maybe someone from the Trans Authority is around now. Oh, hey, Dave, partners. Oh. Shouldn't have stayed on the road. Um,. Oh yeah, there is, that's right, there's telegrams. Damn, no telegrams. Uh, I wonder. Rooms to rent is like, is like the house you're, the room you're renting. Is it at every? Or is it just like in the one city, or can you go to it everywhere? Hi there. Oh, it is. Yep, yeah, it is. So it's not like the bank account where it is just locked to that one place. Okay, that's cool. Um... I suppose might head over to Valentine to see if there's anything going on. Kitty cat. Watching the the road into Strawberry. The Guardian of Strawberry.
Yo, Damo. Thanks for the work, mate. Hope you're having a... Hope you're having a spectacular weekend so far. <laughs> Tempting to. Got a bruised rib! Oh, God. Hope you're all right, dude. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Cricket. Better, better cricket. Blackwater is overpopulated. Better send a telegram with more precise times as to when I'll be available next to do um, my training. So I'll send a telegram now. your name oh you're the cannibal hunter no I, I don't hunt cannibals I said you did um I'm a hunter sir but not a specificity of cannibals by the way the Valentine bank is about to be robbed by you? No. Somebody was being taken hostage in town. It's a damn shame. Alright, let me get out of here then. Magpies are American. No, they're not. Yeah, that they are. No, oh, they ain't. Uh, they're no. American. They're, they're, they're some native to Australia. Magpies out. There's some magpies out of the West, Mr. Deer. There's some magpies out of the West. Good day. Hey, what the fuck you got that out for? Watch out, you're gonna burn. They should be uh, No, I just, I just, I think, I think it makes me, me it makes my point better. It doesn't, no. I don't know, her point does seem pretty you hot. Read people? You're biased. Is, Am I? You're biased. I'm pretty, I'm pretty unbiased. I'm pretty unbiased. I think You're her both point biased. stands. I'm the most Mag unbiased there are person American in the world. American magpies. It's not. It's not my fault. You don't. You don't know shit. Magpies, but that. But that right I'm here. an American magpie. Fuck no, you. That, that, that you wanna know what my my nickname is? I'm the Wecker. The. Yep, okay. What? 
I don't think he asked that. me. If I started, if I yep. started calling myself a Siberian tiger, I don't mean Siberian tigers are from America. No, but it I don't means even know there's what a Siberian, Siberian tiger it in is, America. So, you know, it's, it's a tiger from Siberia. <laughs> that sounds made it up. What if it's not from Siberia? What if it's actually from like? Guam? Then it's just a tiger. Oh, sounds like the bank's being robbed. See, that's an omen. I'm right. Oh, you're wrong. It could be an omen that you're wrong. Um. Yeah, what a freak. Fuck you. I feel like a freak would have a name like Magpie, is what I'm saying. Why are New Zealanders like this? You're a freak too, my man. You saying that because I got a facial, I got a facial scar, hmm? No, I'm saying she's saying that because your hair's off. I got a facial scar too. She's saying that because your hair's off. I have a facial scar. What the hell is going on around here? I don't have any we sort of scars. Scar You're not in our club. I don't care. At least I don't have a small head. No, I was talking about you. You have a really large head. And he has a really small head. He just looks like he's coated in grease. Honestly, I've never heard of New Zealand, but I have heard of Australia. Hey! Oh. What the fuck? What the heck? What is going on here? Why is he making why is he making that noise? It's weird. Ah! Now what the bloody hell's going on here? He it's said I'm from New Zealand. He Get is. Him. Get him. Help me out, countryman. No, no, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm it's not from New Zealand. I'm from England. Oh fuck, he's from England. He's a Brit. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Oh. Oh. Is this really worth fighting? Oh, holy oh. shit. Jen, Jen, how are you supposed hey, to ever beat Bang Bob? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, oh my, are you alright? Oh my. Come on now, surely you can all talk it out. There's already, there's already three people on the ground, come on. This I just saw something. I just saw something. Um, I'm wanted, so you should let us. You should get your friend and go, and then Magpie should get us. The devil. I. I think there was a dispute over someone being from New Zealand or something. Yeah, got a little bit of that. Who's the not New Zealander? Uh, I think this one. No, it's the one with the big fucking forehead. Right. Well, you gentlemen need to uh, ride into the doctor's office. Or no, we're, I'm fine. The, I'm fine. He punches like a little baby bear. All right. Well, I suppose the ladies are s still working it out. I think at this stage, it's best to just let them tire out. Yeah, I think that might be best. <laughs> Completely missed what started all this. I was busy writing a telegram to my boss. Well, that's uh, I suppose a good thing to keep you distracted. Yes. Oh. Oh, and there it is. I wasn't going to tell you, but she's actually the champion of the crossing and fighting. I, just, I was going to let you, I'm trying to get you to walk away. Ha. 
I did I not kick you. I didn't, kick I didn't you. see it. I didn't Your see it. Your friend kicked you. Speaking of which, I would assume I got myself a telegram. So I guess I I'll send it. I also kicked like twice by Maze. Isn't... I didn't kick it. I just tackled you once. And then I got. And then I, got, I hit you once. Then you hit me once. Uh, I would have won if I hadn't fallen off my horse earlier. It can. Do you need any assistance getting these people to the doctor or anything? Yes, please, then, Mister. Make this go a lot quicker. Happy to help. Maybe ladies first, I guess. Bless. Easy. I've got you. All right, let's go. Tough luck, Seth. Should have been born All a right. woman. Lucky number. Lucky number one. I'll. I'll come right back. I'll. Hopefully there's some doctors there. Make I'm just a little winded. Again. Bye bye. No. They're not American. Go back to New Zealand. Hey, come on now, that's I'm enough not, of that. I'm American. Come on now, folk. Goodbye, you freak. Come on, you've already, you've all Look settled all your differences. Freak. There's no more yeah, need for this, true. for this negativity. You speak good reason, sir. What's your name? Albert Groves, at your service. Oh, they Albert Groves. I hope you understand. Me finishing that fight was just a matter of honor. I, I get, yeah, I, I suppose. But so, so, I, I, are you the one from New Zealand? No. Do I sound like I'm from New Zealand? I don't know. I've never been. Uh, they're like they, they sound a bit like this. Oh, oh, oh like like from Englanders. New well, yeah, but like different. Like, but different. So New Zealander sounds. Kind yeah. of like the. From New Zealand. Kind of like the, the, all the Brits and such that went to Australia, I guess. Yeah, yeah something like that. It's fat. It's, it's very intriguing how accents. They got chippies. 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 Oh, I love some fish and chips. Man. I would love some. Yeah, yeah. Who doesn't love some fish and fries? Some what? Fish and fries. I'm American, don't you know? Oh, uh, definitely a lot of Americans around these parts. It is America, funnily enough. <laughs> yes. We're nearly they there. Tend to, they tend to live here. No, and they, they've been very, uh, for the most part, very accommodating. And for that, I'm very grateful. What was your name, miss? My name's Luna. Nice to meet you, Luna. We'll, we'll get you Leona. a... Oh, Leona, like sorry. Leo and then, uh, yeah, Leona. <sighs> sorry about that, but we're just crossing the oh, street no, no, now. It's fine. We're nearly there. We're going to get you some help. Oh, bless. Thank you so much. <sighs> Bloody hell. You had the right idea. Put her on the... Put the horse? Put her on the... Yeah, I didn't think of that at all. Yeah, the hand is getting... Quicker, so. There we go. Propped up. You can all breathe right. all right. Let me get your DFA here, sir. I think, uh, I think you're gonna have to stay here in the middle. All right, I'll see if I can go grab another tentative. one. Yeah, just careful. There's a. Also, thank you for the lurk, Eden. All right. Ugh. The tickler was a crime. Please let us know. It's okay. not illegal to tickle someone. Oh, is everyone here feeling a bit better? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm feeling right. pretty good. Everybody who's feeling all right, if you can make your way out of town, yep, Marshall Law. Marshall Oh, my. Thank you for helping out, Mr. No problem. Uh, th there's uh, two, of your, the two of your friends at the doctor's office. Oh, we don't know those guys. Oh, is that you, Claire? Oh. Yes, hello. Hi, Claire. Oh, it's hello. Claire. Hi, Claire. Hello. Hope you I don't have think a good we've day. seen each other in a long time. It has been a minute. I couldn't hear her. What did she say? She said it's been a minute. 
Um, it's been more than a minute. It's been like several weeks. It has. It has. Well, yeah, like several weeks. That's a lot longer than me. That's like a whole bunch of minutes. A whole bunch of minutes. And then if you add all those up, it's a whole bunch of seconds. <laughs> Alright. Gold is out of town safely. That's, yep, that's where yeah. we're going. Bye, Claire. I guess we're not going to see you again for a long time. We'll see you in a lot of minutes <laughs> later. Oh my goodness. Be safe. Yeah, bye. bye. Goodness gracious. I might, might head home to St. Denis, I think. Marshal Lauren Valentine. I wonder why. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's already nearly 12 o'clock.
get changed first. Get out on the cam, hey Don. Finally, remember to get rid of all this junk. Be gone! Round we go. Made some money, which will help. Might see if there's some good food to get at the the establishment here up on the corner. Oh dear. You'll get there eventually, Growler. Good evening. I'm so thirsty yeah, and hungry. Thirsty. That was a lot of running. Did I do That's stew? Stew. And uh, I don't know. Do we have like lemonade or something left? Um, I don't think so. But I can, I can. Oh, actually, maybe you know a what? glass of water. I have. I want to hand it back to me. I have. I have my canteen. There. Actually, I'll be okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Howdy, mister. Good evening, madam. Um, I, honestly to say, I've got a bit of a hankering for some fish and chips. I see. Um, I ain't sure. Wait, wait. I think, I think the bachelorette party ate through it all last night. Oh, yeah, no. I don't think we have any. Oh, you're fresh out of fish and chips? Yeah, I just checked the I just checked our stock. I don't think I don't think we have any, unfortunately. Oh. That, I'm mighty sorry. That's a damn shame. I was just I've been working very hard up at Pronghorn Ranch all day and someone oh. we were talking about New Zealanders and about how they love fish and chips, which made me 
really just feel like some because it reminds me of home. But that's all right. Mm. Uh, what do you what do you have? Well, we have our stew, which has our Italian sausage in it, which is the uh, house, you know, house classic. Um, let me think. I think other than that, we might have. Uh, wait. That might be everything. I suppose I, I would make a special menu if I if I'd had the time. But... No, that's right. I think the, the I think the stew will suffice today. All right. Well, hopefully next time you come in, we'll have something special. I'll be counting on it. Yeah. <laughs> I believe I have the recipe for fish and chips. Can, uh, so come some into point. the shop and have a cup of tea anytime, Martin. If you do have the recipe for it, I've. Got my fishing pole on my uh, horse. I could always go try to catch a fish real fast. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Mister, if you to... want it uh, right That's now, okay. right away. Thank you very much, That's Miss. Sure. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, That's sorry. Right. Sorry, Oops, Sonny sorry. Jim. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I don't think he wanted to hear me. He was really set on that fish and chips, poor, poor fellow. He didn't offer the chips, I think that's why. Mm. Uh, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you have them on you. May, I'll finish my whiskey and then I can write them down or something if it's not a problem. I'll throw you some cash too for your trouble. Oh, that's kind of you. You know, <laughs> I love this day. Yeah. I really do. The only unfair thing I think is that we can't. I want that poncho. <laughs> so bad. Did you see mine? Uh, it's not a blanket. <laughs> It's a cloak, Mr. Greek. <laughs> um, where's the rooms again? I remember. Save that for later. Well, that's a shame there was no one no one on from the TA today. But that's just how it be sometime. But I've let them know via Telegram that I'll be around uh, Saturday and or Sunday. Well, Friday or Saturday for them. So hopefully you can fit in at least the train test. That would be, um, that would be good. Oh. All right. 
well, I might uh, leave it there for today. Just a good way to get back into it. And then we'll try our luck again next week.